Wyatt, this is such an exciting day. What do we got behind us? What is this? What is this? Package. Package. Is it a flow hive? Yeah, we're gonna build it. So for the past like four or five years, I've studied beekeeping. I've always wanted to become a beekeeper. I don't know, it just seems like the right thing to do. It's good for the environment, good for the community, good for us, good for our health. We love honey, we love local honey. So I finally bit the bullet and ordered myself a flow hive. It just came in. Me and Wyatt are gonna put this thing together and here's the crazy thing. I'm probably not gonna have a good end to this video with a bunch of bees flying around because I had to order a local nuke. And if you know what that means, that's a, basically a colony of bees that have a queen that's mated and ready to get started on producing honey and pollen and nectar and all the good things. But I won't have that till like the middle of April. So I'm gonna build my hive, stain it, put it in the right spot, get it started, see if I can find a nuke that's closer and uh, <laughs> and go from there. But uh, we're gonna get this thing built and see if we can do a little review on it. Free beef. Go get your big truck, buddy. So to give you a quick overview of what we got, we have the Flow Hive. Get out my face, girl. This is the two plus, I had to double check that. And I got the seven frames because I'm here in Tampa, Florida, and there's already uh, good pollen and good nectar flow in this area. So I feel like we're gonna have lots of pollen and, and honey pretty quickly. Um, so I went ahead with the seven, which is the largest one you can get. Really excited to get this thing unboxed and built. What about you, Wyatt, are you excited? All right, so we'll open this thing up. Look at that. You opening that up, what? Those are the supers. Is what they call them, the supers. They're very super. All right, be creative, be inspired, be thoughtful, be together, be friendly, be inventive, be. Share your bee puns at Flowhive. Another cool thing that I just read is this cardboard can be used as an alternative to pesticides and combating weeds. I like that. I like that. You like that, what? Yeah. Let's open this thing up. Here, you want to help me open this one? Yeah. Oh, look at this. I'm going to see what this is. So my wife's probably going to kill me about this video because it's in the house. Normally we're outside and it's all good. Got the pieces all laid out here. I'm going to go ahead and assemble this thing. I'm not going to do a step-by-step -step on how to put these together because, I mean, I'm not, I'm not going to, I'm not about to do that. But the way they package this, Great job. Seriously, like, I give it a 10. Still the same. Yeah! Gotta have a little intermission. Little man loves this song. So I'm into the wee hours of the night, but I just finished. I just put the whole thing together and took it all apart again just to, uh, to move it out of the kitchen. But man, this is such a cool, cool hive. I know you've probably seen this a thousand times, but really well built. Excited to get this thing rolling. All right, so I built the whole thing last night and today I am putting on some waterproofer and stain to, I live, I live in Florida, so we get a lot of rain. So I'm putting on some stain right now gonna get it all looking good that's the roof it's almost done you can see how it kind of pulls the colors out so excited to have this done i actually t contacted a local apiary that uh, has some nukes available with uh, mated and marked queens so uh, over the next couple days i'll plan to go pick those up and actually put my put my hive to uh together so I, like with these which i'm excited about so I'll keep you guys updated. All right, so I'm finished staining and I'm gonna set this thing back up. I put the viewing windows on and all the finishing touches. For those of you who have not seen these up close and personal, it's actually really neat. It's the Flow Hive. I've turned these things on so that when I do have my bees in there, which I won't for a little while, they'll actually complete these partially made combs with their own wax, make their own comb, finish their own comb, and then they will fill them with honey and cap them off as their storage. Then you put a little key in the top here. It turns these things about halfway. They, they, they move just half. And then the honey will pour out this too. And it'll make it super easy to harvest. It all comes out of right here. 
and I won't have to even mess with the bees at all when I'm harvesting honey, which is super cool. I would highly recommend looking at the Flow Hive. It's really neat. I'm gonna finish this thing up and do a final video of it before I actually get my bees. And uh, I'm excited about that, and so is the whole family. This is really cool. One thing I've also seen a lot of people ask questions about is, uh, is the fact that the Flow Hive Super doesn't fit snug in the top box, and people are like, it doesn't fit. That's a problem. The bees can get out, the bees can get squashed. Well, on the very back of the Super, there's a screw. And if you're like me, you probably don't go unscrewing screws that are already in. But I watched a few videos and Cedar, the inventor of Flow Hive, uh, the instructions also said that, to, that you should unscrew the screw as much as you need to so that they do fit snug. And you'll see that screw right there. I'm not sure if you can get a good view of that. It pushes the front snug up against the, uh, the front of the box. So that's a little tip to just kind of help you out. All right, everyone, so that's a wrap. Sorry to finish this thing off in my shed and it's super loud. I got a bunch of fans running in here, but got everything on my super ready. I know this isn't where the queen excluder goes. I'm just storing it here um, for the time being, just so everything can dry really well. Roof is done, put a nice layer, cut two layers of, uh, of clear and waterproofer and sealant on it. My box, my uh, lower brood is done. The, everything's done. So now the next step is getting bees. So that's, I'm gonna conclude this video on the Flow Hive quick build. I'm just excited to kind of document my own progress. If you like my videos, that's great. I appreciate it. Um, but I'm going to conclude this one and then the next video will be installing bees and I'm excited about that. So stay tuned.